No, I, 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 now your your question about Arsenal. Well, well, what about Everton? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> what about Arsenal and Everton? No, and I think he's not going. To Ar- he's not going to Everton for the reason that you said earlier. Big managers go to big clubs. And Carlo is not going to is not going to Everton. Maybe he needs to dumb down a bit. Maybe, Maybe he's to humble himself. Everton splash cash. Everton splash more cash than Arsenal. I know. <laughs> um, Maybe he could build something there. He's not at that point. Look, I, I don't think he should go. To, I think they're. I think he is a bad appointment for both of them. Oh, I think so too. I would. I'm, I'm not. I'm. But I think you're. If you're asking me if he's going to, if there's a probability of him going one or the other. It's Arsenal. So Mikel Arteta is linked with City, Arsenal, and Everton. And I feel like if Pep leaves or whatever that happens, like he's going to go there. To where? To one of those clubs. Okay. Or he'll stay at City. Arteta is going to go to, uh, to Everton. That would be a good place for him to start. But I, I would like to see how that works out. I can't say much about him as a manager because we haven't know. seen anything. So we'll see how that goes. I just find the, the link fascinating. But we have Arsenal and we have Ancelotti. Oh, I already know who's going to Arsenal, by the way. I don't know. This is a stupid thing. Who's going to Arsenal? Oh, Patrick Rear. Okay, well, that would be stupid too. And I saw it on The Guardian. That, that'd be, that would oh, be. Oh, they wrote about it? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was, I oh, thought about, I was ahead of the curve. About the, the, you know, players, the legends. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, someone wrote oh, it. Oh, really? And I, I was, was just trying, I thought I was just being smart. And I just commented. I was like, yo, we got to stop this shit. And we do. We really got to stop these players yeah, yeah. coaching these teams. Yeah. Because they were legends and they know how much the it means to play I, for the I, club. I got, I got another one. I know where Carlos going next. Or he's going to come here. Okay, anyhow. Vancouver. Anyhow. So um, Carlo should go coach. Do you want to talk about humbling? Carlo should go back to Milan. Carlo got a Carlo got a pack. You, you know, know what? what? I, no, don't, I, don't, no. I don't like that one either. Car- no, you know what Carlo should do? Is when Mancini fails this summer, he should take over and, no, and push God it on. No. <laughs> but Carlos should not go to Arsenal. And Arsenal fans, please, please bear with me. Uh, how many t- how many years has Carlo been managing? Twenty. Yeah, he's won the league. He's won four league titles. Yes. Let's go down that path. Let's go. Let's start with Milan. He had a very good Milan team. He had a very good Milan team. He won one league title. Yep. That I that I know of. And a Champions League. Okay. He won one league title. Correct. And that was that team. Yeah. Should not have won one league title. No, I'm I'm not disagreeing with he you. He under I know he won the Champions League to mask all that, but yeah. I, I would like to be the first Did and he win two Champions League? He did. Yeah. I would like to be the first to say that, listen, man, and I've said this with Zidane, is that those little knockout competitions over a 38 game season where you have arguably the best team with all those resources tells me more about you. Yeah, I, I know I know that you put a lot more weight into the league than you do the Champions League. Even yes. though even though the, the prestige of winning the Champions League is is weighted heavier than yes. the league titles. But but it's it's just no. Just because of the name of the competition. It's, exactly. And I will leave that there. Yep. So you won one league. And and you wanna know what makes it worse? We, we don't we don't never talk about Istanbul. Correct. We never if that was any other manager yeah. would be talking about Istanbul forever. That was one of the biggest chokes, botch jobs. <laughs> yeah, because, but, but let's say he wins that. Okay, does it save him? Like, the, are we still? Are you going to talk about him any differently? They, because that's another Champions League. They are. They are. No, I'm talking about you. Oh, me? No. Because you're going to tell me that he still that's, hasn't. That's, won that's, that's why I never mentioned it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I mentioned, mentioned. But when they bring up the Champions League, I was like, oh, if you don't bring up that. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say if he if he had won that, it would have solved anything. No. Okay. okay. Milan. Then we, then we go to Chelsea next. Yep. Where he had the best team in the league because Ferguson left and Ronaldo. No, Ferguson was there, but Ronaldo left. Mm-hmm. And he had the best team in the league and won the league on the final day. That's right. Got, got out coached by Mourinho in the Champions League. Yeah. And the next season fell off. Correct. Sacked. Yes, goes to Bayern. Well, went to PSG first. Sorry, went to PSG. Yeah, for, sorry. Pretty sure he won a league title, yeah, which, you're, which you're supposed to do. Correct. But then the next season lost to Montpellier. Oh, you did? Yes, he did. Montpellier won the title? Yes. <laughs> Didn't Monaco win the title? Right? No. Was it Montpellier? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was your yes. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, that was bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. You ain't, yeah. yes. ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers, <laughs> Yo, we need the answer to that. Yeah. Then he went to Bayern. Correct. And yeah, you you won the league. That's right. But again, 
Yes. Yeah, exactly. And then what happened the next season? Could, couldn't make it. Yeah. Couldn't make it. Yeah. It was that was disaster. That's when when uh, what's his name came in. Yeah, Heinkins. Heinkins again. Yeah, and changed that thing around. And yeah. th- there were the reports that the trainings were terrible. Yeah, the he lost play- the dressing room. The and players whatnot. did extra trainings behind his back because they felt like yeah, it wasn't it wasn't yeah, I know. So that happened, and I mean, even before that, there was Real Madrid. Correct, Real Madrid, and and boy, that Champions League saved him there. That's right. He, yep. but but what we really look at that. I know the performances were good in the build-up to that. Correct. But he was a second away. Yeah, he was. A second. Diego Costa got hurt. That's right. So they had no attack. That, that's right. They that's had, right. They had no attacky threat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you were... Uh, Sergio Ramos saved your legacy. Uh-huh. <laughs> he, he saved it. Mm-hmm. And you and you still didn't win a league title. You let Atletico win a league. You... Yeah. Le- Against arguably the worst Barcelona team of this decade under Tata Martino. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You let one of your, at, one of your boys. You let Atletico Madrid win the league? Yeah. And you have Ronaldo Bale. Come on, man. Yeah, oh that was that was uh, that's right. That was peak that was peak Madrid. Come on, that, man. That was your boy, wasn't there, wasn't he? Big Benz? Yeah. What was he doing there? All three but come on, man. Wasn't doing very much, right? He, he was ensuring that Ronaldo got all the goals. Oh, okay. Come on, man. Yeah. You lost the league to them. Yeah. And then Bayern and then Napoli. Yeah. 20 years. Four league titles. Yeah. Coach some, of the, coach some of the best teams in the world. Yeah. And you are going to go to... And granted, when we look at each job, a lot of those jobs, he came in for managers... And came into teams that were already established, and then put the like little icing on the cake. Oh, I, and on many of those teams, yeah, you're right. With experienced players, correct. So we have to put that into perspective. Can Carlo build a team? I haven't seen it. We haven't seen it. Uh, but and again, this 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 is what I had said before. I don't think he's at the stage where he's gonna want to build a team. Yeah, like that's not what that like that's a young manager. Yeah, who, and and that's why. Uh, um, a uh, Mikel Arteta or or something like someone like that goes into one of those clubs, even a Patrick Vieira, because he's just starting his managerial yeah. career. But Carlo, I mean, that's not that's not a project for for him. And, and when we look, and if people could say, "Oh, uh, Milan," he did really look back into those Milan years and see yeah. who who was buying the players and and and, and how that how that show was going. Yeah. A lot of people forget. Yeah. So I look at that and I really assess it, and it's like you're gonna go to Arsenal and do what? With what money? Yep. Like that. That's that. You gotta fix that entire team. You don't have a defense, Carlo. Nope. What are you gonna do? Your midfield is eh. Yeah. We don't know who your best attackers are because besides Aubameyang, a lot of them don't show up. That's right. So can we cut a, Can we cut the Arsenal Ancelotti links? Can Arsenal not do that? I know they want to bring someone in, but. Look, if you can't bring anyone in, you got to ride the Lungberg thing until the end of the season because there's no one else to really bring in. And why would you bring them in unless you're bringing Carlo as an interim manager and letting him know that, look, you're only here like the Heinkes or the hit- hitting right. thing. Yep. That's the only way that flies. But you cannot hire this guy and then give him a contract because you're going to set yourself back even further than what United have done with Ollie. Yep. So don't do it. And at, with Everton, I don't know who the hell they're going to bring in, but the Duncan Ferguson thing won't last very long. I'll tell you that. No. So they got to move quick. But that's how I feel about Ancelotti, man. Like, I feel like take some time off, enjoy life. I, I don't think there's any job out there for him right now or for the foreseeable future. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't disagree with you. There's no big club that I think I would want him or need him. And I don't think there's any project for him that could really maximize the, f- the few things that he does very well. So I leave that there. 